Congratulations to Beaver Bray's graduating class of 2020. I know that this was not the way that you wanted your high school era to end. The words milestone and rite of passage are words that I'm sure you're familiar with, as these words are associated with many events that take place during your grade 12 year. To say that you and your families are disappointed would be a gross understatement. I want you to know that I speak on behalf of Beaver Bray staff when I say that we are very proud of you and we're celebrating alongside of you. Good evening, graduating class of 2020. And good evening to all of the families, friends, school staff, and community members who played a role in getting our grads here today. Bringing greetings on behalf of the Kenora Métis Council, I'm President Liz Boucher. Today, we celebrate each and every one of you, our graduates. We celebrate this incredible milestone with you and all of the milestones, memories, struggles, and achievements that have led to today. Bonjour. My name is Chief Jim Major from uh, I congratulate the people from uh, our First Nation for uh, part, part of the graduates at uh, Newton Beaver Bay High School, 2020 graduates. It is kind of hard at this time because of the virus that goes around. It's hard on kids. And I know it's a lot of stress. But hopefully that everything goes well. Anyways, thank you very much. Good evening, Beaver Break graduates. I'm Mayor Dan Raynard, and on behalf of the City Council and the City of Kenora, we're so proud of your achievements. These have been very difficult times, and what you have achieved has made it even more remarkable. Congratulations to you all. I'm Sherry Lynn Farron, Director of Education with Kiwi and Patricia District School Board, and I appreciate this opportunity to share a message with the graduating class of 2020, a class whose experience is definitely unique. Sometimes you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory, said Dr. Seuss. In this year, our world is very different and graduations and celebrations look different than they do traditionally. Dr. Seuss's advice seems particularly relevant. As we think back on COVID-19 and the many challenges that have come with it, I'm hopeful that we will rely upon the lessons that we've learned through this very difficult and unprecedented time. My fellow 2020 graduates, we both humbly thank you for the opportunity to represent the graduating class of 2020. Well, the day we've all thought about for our entire lives is finally here. This isn't what we imagined our graduation ceremony would look like when we first set foot in Beaver Bray all those years ago. This day was supposed to be surrounded by friends and family, and it was a day that we would have been able to celebrate together. All the trials of high school could not have prepared us for what the past few months of school have held. But as a class, we've persevered through everything so far and managed to achieve so much through these difficult times. We've done it. We've graduated. And honestly, to look on the bright side of things, this year no one had to sit through a painfully long ceremony in thick gowns. This time has brought the world together to deal with a crisis. We are stronger together. There are innovations in medicine, education, and remote work, as this has forced us to think differently about how we do things and to think outside the box. We have had more time with family and remembered the importance of slowing down to appreciate family time together. There have been countless stories of people helping one another, for our humanity is found in the commitment to and support of one another. When you think back on your years at Beaver Bray, I don't want you to think about the global pandemic. I want you to think about the years of laughter and joy, the times that you learned something cool in your classes, the time that you lifted your friends' spirits and they lifted yours, the times that you thought that you couldn't do it but you did and you wanted to give up but you didn't. Think about what you've learned as all this unfolded in front of you, as this will certainly impact the way that you live your life moving forward. We look forward to continue watching you on your journeys and becoming leaders in the years and decades to come. Each and every one of you always has been and always will be a community member. Your family, your friends, your school, your work, your athletic and artistic endeavors, your Métis or First Nation community, your church, your neighborhood, your town or city. These are all examples of communities that you have and will continue to be a member of. We challenge you to be the best community member that you can be, to always be proud of yourselves 
your actions and your words. Treat every member of your community with respect. Never judge them and always try to understand their opinion and perspective. Help out wherever and whenever you can. No matter how small your contribution is, it will be valued and appreciated. As you choose your next path, whether it's going right into the job market, taking on a trade, going to college, or heading off to university, I would encourage you to find your passion. Don't let anybody deny where you want to be or your end goal. If you have the desire, the work ethic, and the ability to just persevere, you will be successful. Follow your dreams. Talent, passion, work ethic, they will always allow you to succeed. This ceremony signifies the start of a new journey for many of us. But it is the past six years that our classmates have spent together at Beaver Bray that has shaped us into who we are today and who we are going to be in the world. Our first year at Beaver Bray threw so many new things at us, we could barely keep up. We now had multiple teachers and a confusing rotating schedule that all everyone had as their lock screen on their iPods. We tried our hardest to be quiet as we rushed from the upper wing down to the shop to the art room. But even with that tight schedule, we always seemed to have time to stop at our lockers. We no longer had two short lunches, but an hour long break with freedom to do as we pleased. It was a big change to each and every one of us. But we went through those changes together as a class. Our bonds and friendships with our class continued to grow as we matured and prepared ourselves to enter the real deal of high school. We spent the next few years building character and discovering who we were, testing out different things and finding our passions. We eventually learned that by being together, we could make it through high school. Being together to study for Dexter's terrifying science test and being together afterwards to cry about all the things you knew you got wrong. Being together on the bench, just waiting to get subbed in. Being together backstage, playing cards, or on stage, acting your heart out. Being together and having each other's backs in class, when one person would go to get a drink, you'd come back 25 minutes later with more cookies. Because being together was what got us through high school. And maybe it's because we live in a small town, but our class has bonded together as a family over these past years. This lesson in connectedness is particularly important as you all pursue your different dreams and pathways after graduation. I hope that you stay connected to one another. You shared memories and experiences of sports teams and yearbook and committees and dances and outdoor ed trips, class events, and much more to create strong bonds that belong only to you, the graduating class of 2020. To my fellow grads, congratulations on graduating in the world's toughest time. I know that we will all do great things in the years to come. To my fellow grads, I want to say thank you for being supportive when I needed it and thank you for all of the fun times over the past four years. My favorite high school memories will be winning bronze at Worlds with the cheer team and taking the final bows after a theater performance with my cast. My favorite high school memory would be stepping on the field for the first time to play my first varsity football game. My favorite memory about high school is when our girls soccer team went from the bottom of the ranks to winning Norasa. It earned us a trip to Bell River for AFSA. Although we didn't do as well as expected, it was still a trip to remember. My favorite high school memory was when our senior boys volleyball team won the championship game at Norasa. After losing the first two sets, we won three straight in the Fort Francis gym with all their fans against us. I have too many great high school memories to pick just one favorite, but a few of my favorite moments from high school include making bread with Miss Bennett, going to football games, amazing field trips, dissecting pigs, and of course, the iced coffee runs at lunch. Thank you to all of my awesome friends and fantastic teachers who have made the last six years of my life at Beaver Bray so memorable. My favorite memory from high school was definitely joining the football team. The friendships that I made are ones that are gonna last a lifetime. The lessons of determination, resiliency, and leadership that I learned from my coaches are also ones that are going to stick with me. To all of my teachers and coaches, I say thank you. One memory that I never want to forget about my high school experience would be going in at 8 a.m. to put all the ingredients in Miss Benner's bread maker. So when me and all my friends went down to the basement later that day, we would have a fresh loaf of bread waiting for us to eat at lunch. My favorite memory of high school is when my grade 10 French class took a trip to Quebec. I never had experienced anything like that before. My favorite high school memory is going to Disney World with my cheer team and winning a bronze medal. 
One of my favorite high school memories would probably be the sports teams because they've shaped me into the person I am today. And also, one of my favorite memories would be scoring in Narwasa and then going to Offsa for soccer. So I've been at Beaver Bay for four years. I have so many great stories, but it'd definitely be either the canoe trip or the bench off in personal fitness or Linda doing the splits at the pep rally or any other wrestling matches or football games I've been able to represent Beaver Bray at. Any of those could make the list, but I just want to say thanks to all the teachers and coaches throughout high school that have helped me reach my goals and given me knowledge that I'll use the rest of my life. My favorite memories from high school, aside from my great teachers and coaches, would have to be all the games I played and friendships I created throughout my years. If I could, I would do it again in a heartbeat. If I could go back and give myself any advice, it would be don't let what other people say affect how you view yourself. Definitely don't worry so much. Um, it's all gonna be okay and it's all gonna work out in the end. Um, for myself being a teen mom, it was that I should give, it's gonna be scary at first, but just hold through it and it'll be living life with this guy. Right? Say hi. Hi. My favorite quote that I've seen this year is that the virus took everything from you that you envisioned, but it cannot erase your success. This family of ours has been through so much together, and these last few months have really proved that, proved that we are a hard-working and determined group of futures brighter than the sun. But we cannot forget about all those who got us here. To the, all the teachers and coaches and mentors who helped guide us through all the obstacles of high school, we thank you. We thank you in every possible way. Without you, we would still be lost and without a pathway. And also to this year's retirees. You really couldn't handle the, being in the school without us, so you knew you had to leave. We likely, we like to thank you for your dedication to our education. And most importantly, we must thank our family and friends, because they are the people who were there 24-7 but believed and supported in us no matter what. You were the ones who were there when we needed you and will continue to be there. So my fellow 2020 graduates, please remember to thank those who helped you. Congratulations, class of 2020. We can all see clearly now. Graduations are important. It shows that you have accomplished a task that you set out to do. Life is full of graduations. You will all experience more of these. This is my third one from Beaver Break which means you are all smarter than me. It only took you one try. But one of my mantras is slow and steady wins the race. Third time is the charm for me. I'm a firm believer in education. Only in Canada can you obtain an education and become whatever you want to be. Your socioeconomic background does not hinder you from future success. Be what you want to be and work hard to get there. Some of you may know of my passion for chemistry and math is just icing on the cake. I am blessed that I could incorporate my love for science in such a fulfilling way. As you go forth from Beaver Bray, I hope you all are able to find your spark and live your passion. Once again, congratulations. Hello, graduating class of 2020. Mr. Sparkman here. Just wanted to wish all of you the best. As you're starting your chosen career path, I'm gonna finish you mine, sadly. Uh, my advice to you as you move forward comes from Mike Rowe from Dirty Jobs. Follow the opportunities that life gives you and bring your passion along with you. Good luck and all the best as you begin to build your future life. Take care. We especially would like to thank the one teacher who's been there since the beginning for both of us. Thank you to Madame Bennett. Thank you for always keeping us in line and keeping us competitive and for showing us it's important to keep pushing ourselves to be the best people we can be. Whether it was on the field, on the court, in the class, or just in life. Thank you for being an amazing mentor and friend, and for everything you do. And so today, let's celebrate our achievements and our mistakes, because even through the darkest times, as Broncos, we never gave up. Throughout this year, we knew we'd be experiencing th some things for the last time. We knew it'd be the last game that we played as a Bronco. The last time we exited the stage. The last song we sang at a coffee house. 
On March 13th, we had no clue what was coming for us. Some even celebrated a three week long March break. But that day was our last. Our last walk down the hall. Our last time in the cap asking Dino for fries. Our last time hearing Ms. Lappin say proper protocol before O Canada. Our last goodbye to the group you'd experienced so much with. Take a moment to be proud of yourself. You've worked hard. Remember those late nights to study for exams? Those weeks working on assignments and the homework that you did? You've earned this moment to celebrate and enjoy. My friends, I know this hurts. Not being able to say goodbye the way we wanted to is hard. Our time together has ended so suddenly. And although there may be some things that we will never get back, such as grad ceremonies, prom nights, and to be honest, lots of senior parties, I believe that what we have gone through will forever bond us as a family. Through faulty internet and background noise, we continue to learn. Through social distancing and lockdowns, we found new and creative ways to be together. Class of 2020, this is one for the history books. And nobody will ever forget this year and the challenges that we faced to overcome individually and as a group. As you go forward to wherever your dreams take you, remember the importance of resilience and flexibility and the importance of working together, and most importantly, finding what you love to do. Remember, to quote Walt Disney, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Once things are done and you find a home, wherever life takes you, I would encourage you to always be kind to others. Give back to that community where you're going to live. The people you meet, the successes that you will experience, are so rewarding and in closing I would leave one thing with you there are two ways to approach each problem the right way and the easy way always choose the right way it is far more rewarding never underestimate the power of your smile and a simple kind word we wish you all the best in your future endeavors congratulations I encourage you to stay positive and be the helper and find the solutions. Focus on these times as they will remind you that the graduating class of 2020 is like no other, strong, resilient, and adaptable, willing to take on anything that the world throws at them. I wish you every success in life and I cannot wait to hear about your adventures. Stay strong, class of 2020. Congratulations. As we move on to the next chapters of our lives, we must continue to dream. If you work hard enough, you can be or do anything you want. I encourage you to go out and make mistakes because mistakes shape who we are. So go get that crappy job, switch your degree six times, fall in love, fall out of love, be young and be stupid. Live your life the way you want because it's your future, it's your dream, it's your life. Don't let anybody ever tell you different. And although we will miss each other greatly and will never get that last hurrah, this is the time to not be sad. It is a time to celebrate all that we have and all that we will have in the future. So from the bottom of our hearts, we congratulate you. So here's to the class of 2020. <laughs> Closing, again, congratulations. You should be very proud of yourselves and of each other. We are proud of you. Have a great evening, Beaver Break grads.